EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the stadium course at PGA West, live coverage coming your way of round three of the season opening event, the American Express. You know, for many years, this was Bob Hope's tournament. He, of course, a great entertainer, and we're in for an entertaining weekend of golf. As you look at the leaderboard on this Saturday, Sam Burns is on top. He currently sits as 12 under par. Play continuing here in this third round. Frank, we've been following this young golfer this week, their debut on the PGA Tour, and it has been a pretty solid showing so far, wouldn't you say? I certainly would, Rich. Already beaten half the field. They didn't make the weekend, so that is a huge start in this career, and we all, well, we both know, Rich, this is a long road on the PGA Tour, full of bumps and hollows, but at the moment, ah, the gravy train. Let's bring in a man who's been there, Noda Begay the third, four-time winner on the PGA Tour. Noda, our golfer, in their first ever professional start, able to make the weekend, so you have to figure that was the goal coming into this debut event? Well, some players make progress in big steps and others make it in smaller steps. Although not in contention initially, making it into the weekend is a step in the right direction and will help build confidence. Frank, our golfer here, as we've been mentioning this week, making their debut on the PGA Tour. I'll tell you what, it has been pretty impressive to this point. What do you think? Yeah, I certainly think so, Rich. You know, you start the week off with that sort of list, shopping list, make the cut, tick that, in contention, tick that. Tomorrow, we're all going to be talking. Ah, uh, just no chance to hold the fairway there, and it bounds into the thick stuff. So even from the thick stuff, a chance still to possibly reach this green in regulation. And that one ran just a little too far into that first cut, but in all, Frank, not a bad spot to be playing from. No, I agree, Rich. I mean, they made sure they got out of the thick stuff, which is the game plan, right? It's probably a little unlucky. It just bounced that extra bounce into that uh, first cut. Nah, that's going to wander off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. That finished off for par, he was the second, and he'll stay at five under. Next up, the 471 yard par four third, nicknamed Crescent because the green is a shape like the Crescent Moon. Best to hug the right side off the tee to avoid the large fairway bunker on the left. And that will be more than adequate. It's safely into the fairway. Beautiful look at the Santa Rosa Mountains in the background as he readies his second. And this is looking really good. Ah, it's a good shot, but does leave that little uphill part, so that one will be slow. He has a 12-footer here. Oh, no, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. So that safely in. It's a par here at the third. And he'll stay right where he is. This is a good par three, and it's the first one of the day, the 192-yard fourth. You can see the trouble is that large bunker on the right side. And I think, obviously, you would rather be long than short here. Okay, that one's dancing. 
Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And he couldn't ask for a better setup from this distance. Just slightly uphill, something on the right edge could go in. Don't be short. Just another couple of turns, Frank. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And he'll remain right where he is. Up next, the 535-yard par 5 fifth they call Double Trouble. 314 yards to carry the water on the left. That's a big poke. So if you're feeling optimistic, give it a run. place to be. That's right of the water and into the fairway here at five. So now a tough carry over water for this, his second at five. But that one had to feel good. Well, it struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Okay, not a bad effort. Nicely played. It's a birdie at the fifth. And he moves to two under for his round, six under for the tournament. This is a monster par three, this sixth hole, at 255 yards. On top of it, you're looking at water on the right. The good news is, if that's just a little too much for you to take on, there is a bailout area on the left if you'd rather play it safe. is going to end up safely on the putting surface. He's hoping here to at least get this to tap in range, but it is for birdie. Uh, he gave that a pretty good run. A little short, but that's not bad. Safely in for a par here at the sixth. And he'll remain at six under par. Par four seventh is only 346 yards, but there is trouble down the right side with the water. So you need to be straight here. And it might be a good idea to pull out the fairway wood or even a long iron just to keep it in play. Give yourself a chance at making birdie. Now from just 94 yards out, this his second. Well, the ball is on the green. That's about all I can say with that. With a short wedge in hand, you'd expect that certainly be much closer than that. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll stay right where he is. Up next, the 559 yard par 5 eighth, where we get a little break from the water found on the previous three holes, but there's plenty of sand to make up for it. Good driving hole. Let it rip. will 
will do just fine. Now the approach shot here on this par 5 eighth. Be pleased with that one. On and two, par five. Didn't fly it there, but didn't have to. Got everything he needed out of that shot. Mm, ah, that stings when that's for eagle. A really good effort, but it somehow stays out. Okay, nicely done. It's a birdie at number eight. And that'll move him to seven under par. Wrapping up the front nine here at PGA West with a 452-yard par-4 ninth hole, you can plainly see where you don't want to hit it. That's in that water down the right side. So paramount to be on the left if you put that ball where you're supposed to. You have a good chance to finish this front nine with a birdie. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Now, Noda, his second from the fairway. 150 yards to the hole. Pin sitting in the back left portion of the green. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And that's going to be a three under 33 on this front side. Starting the back side with a 416 yard par four tenth. Favor the right side to avoid the water, which is once again a factor. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. So he'll come at it from the left side of the fairway as he gets set now for his second shot. Oh, this could be good. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still inside 40 feet. Just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Ah, that's a half a ball away from going in. Very well read. So that's in for par to start this backside. And he'll stay at seven under. Well, here it is, the longest hole on the golf course. The par 5 11th is 617 yards. You need to bash that tee ball and get all of that second shot. Who knows, maybe you can get home in two. This one is all you can handle. Nothing to fault there, safely in the fairway. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in a really good position here on the par five.
and that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tap-in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Nope, not enough. Needed to get that a little further out to the right. Safely in. Yeah, it's a bogey here at number 11. And he's going to fall to six under par. Up next, the number 18 handicap hold at PGA West. 363 yard par 4 12. Left side of the fairway is well guarded by Bunker, so the right side is ideal. What a great tee shot. Bisected the fairway beautifully. So a big drive, and not much needed to carry here for his second. Gonna have to give this a pretty good thump. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Just beyond the hole. Super job there out of the bunker. No missteps there. It is a par here at 12. And he'll remain right where he is. Look what we have here, more water. 214 yard par three, 13th offering. Little bailout right and water left. Accuracy off the tee is the key here. That one safely on the putting surface. Just like that, it's a birdie here at 13. And he will definitely not say no to that. Arriving now at the 389-yard par 4 14th. Bunker on the right side of the fairway, so it is best to favor the left side off the tee. Once again at PGA West, we're looking at a hole that's not overly long. It'll tempt you, 389 yards. The key, keep it away from that bunker on the right side of the fairway. So you're favoring the left. If you get it where you're supposed to, then you can access the whole location. Birdie's a good possibility here. Yeah, pretty easy to run it right through this 14th fairway if you take driver, and that is on into the rough. Okay, maybe overplayed that a little bit, but it is on the green. Iona's down there. She's had a good look. This for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. Yeah, you had a pretty good run at that, but it won't go down. Still pretty good from there. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll stay right where he is. As we arrive at 15 and head back toward the clubhouse, we come to the hole they call turning home, a 468-yard par four. And the second hardest hole at PGA West have to be straight off the tee as there are bunkers on both sides of the fairway. That one looking a little right. No fairway here, this one in that rough. See what he can do with this one, his second at the 15th. Just want to avoid the flyer lie coming out of that rough. This one has a chance to be close. I always looked inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was going to be a good shot. So in my book, that's a good shot. Oh, 
Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And that's going to move him to eight under. We now come to the 600 yard par 5 16th. Avoid the bunker on the left side of the fairway off the tee and beware of the massive green side bunker on your approach. Once in there, it's a chore to get out. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here and this another fine tee shot. Really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Oh, is that any good? Perfect. That was tracking pretty well, too. That could have gone in for the same price. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And he's going to remain at 8 under. Well, you know when a hole is nicknamed Alcatraz, it is oftentimes not the most pleasant experience. The 17th hole's only 168 yards, but we're looking at an island green, and we're looking at all sorts of trouble, and we're looking at the pressure ratcheting up late in the round. This one has your attention, and on this shot, you need to be almost perfect. And that one gonna wind up smack dab in the middle of the green. This one is all about touch and feel and creativity. Coming down that huge slope, though it is a birdie putt. Frank, right, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he'll remain right where he is. Finishing up here at PGA West with a 439 yard par 4 18th. Yet again, we're trying to avoid the water that runs down the left side of the fairway. If you keep it down the right side, well then you'll have a chance to maybe get out of here, push up the round with a birdie three. That is a great number on this finishing hole. And no issues there. Good tee shot in the short grass. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. 125 is the number. Just a flick, pin all the way at the back. He can fly it the full way. Now, in my book, that's a good shot. You can really aim at the middle of just about every single green. If you did it all day long, some of those would finish up close. And you'd have plenty of birdie putts. Oh, that is a beauty in for birdie here at the last. And that's going to be a third round score of 67. So for our featured golfer, some good playing and some favorable scoring conditions here on this Saturday. But they'll look up at that leaderboard and see they're still well back. But I think the goal really is to try and shoot back-to-back -back great rounds, Rich. Uh, if anything better than that, maybe leader takes a stumble. You can't control that. But at least get out there tomorrow, shoot as low as you can. Final round coverage of the American Express comes your way tomorrow, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific. We'll crown our first winner of the season on the PGA Tour. Until then, so long from the Coachella Valley.